Diablo 4 has controller support. PoE 2 is introduced in Waza movement, so it's only fair for Diablo 4 to have the same. Since drastic changes and experimentation in D4 is as frequent as the number of good takes I have about video games, I decided to do something about it. About Waza movement, not the bad takes. So here's the plan. Use computer alphabet to map keyboard button presses to mouse and test this controversial movement scheme in a nightmare dungeon. Simple. When user clicks arrow up, we move. I know it says Wazda, but I really didn't want to rebind all my key binds and then bind them back after the video, so we're just gonna use arrow keys. Same thing. So, user clicks arrow up, mouse goes up. User clicks arrow right, mouse goes right. You get the picture. Which in computer language looks like this. We bind key press and key release listeners. When we detect a specific key press, we just move the mouse where we need it to be and then trigger a mouse click so the character moves to that position, which results in something like this. And if we run our little script with the game, we get this. Perfect. There's a problem with this thing. At the moment, our character is a bit dumb. It can only move on one axis at a time. In order to fix that, you could apply some mathematics, calculating all the points in the area, increasing and decreasing mouse X and Y position according to it, and then maybe apply some easing functions so that the movement is not weird. But no, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna add four more points for top right, bottom right, bottom left, and top left position. Good enough. Oh, and I reduced the distance between the character and where I want the mouse to be, so it doesn't just randomly click things. Also, I had to ignore all other key presses because they would crash the script. Just to make this whole thing a bit more legitimate, you need to be able to see those keyboard presses. Since my keyboard is not in a presentable state, the next best thing is going to be this overlay. So, with this highly innovative approach, I think I'm ready to test this out and hopefully not get banned by Blizzard because they detected some inhuman clicks. But we know how they handle more serious exploits, so I think I should be fine. Obviously, this is a very rudimentary demonstration of what's the movement in Diablo 4. But still, I don't know if I like it. I think there's too many keys to care about with this setup. I did test this with a minion necromancer, so it was pretty easy. I triggered one skill and let everything else play by itself. But how would this work on a druid, sork, or a rogue? Also, if this was introduced to the game, how would it impact the skills and the whole targeting concept? Maybe not that much, because you can already play this game with a controller.